welcome today we are going to see the experiment to evaluate the particles as distribution of tablet granules by safe method so uh, the requirement for this particular experiment is that in apparatus we are going to require beaker measuring cylinder mortar pestle spatula glass rod etc in equipments we will require a weighing balance sieve set in that we will require different sieves of mesh number 10 22 44 60 100 120 then we will require a sieve shaker um, trays spatula etc in chemicals we will require calcium carbonate and starch so we will prepare we have already prepared granules of calcium carbonate and with starch so now let us see what is um, the use of uh, sieve analysis and why it is used okay so um, in theory we, we can say uh, the unit of particle size used most frequently in pharmaceutical industry is in micrometrics is micrometer also called as micron the physical chemical and pharmacological properties of a drug it depend on the particle size and hence uh, the surface area of the particle now what will be the impact of the particle size um, the first impact is observed on surface area particle size is inversely proportional to the surface area that is decrease in particle size there will be increased in the surface area okay why do we want increased surface area because it enhances the therapeutic effect of the Mm, any type of drug if the surface area is very large if the particle size is small then absorption or dissolution oh, sorry not absorption but dissolution the rate of that drug is increased okay the best example is chrysiobulbin if you reduce the particle size in in the range of 15 micrometers then solubility of chrysiobulbin is increased right so that is an impact now why the solubility increases because the surface area which is available it also increases okay also it is very important in case of antacid suspensions the next impact is observed on the rate of solution there is decrease in particle size if there is decrease in particle size uh, it increases the effective surface area which in turn increases the rate of the solution as i have given you the example of glycerophilin next is bioavailability decrease in particle size increases the bioavailability bio by improving solubility of the drug then mixedness particle size of the powders in a narrow size range provide better mixedness in mixing operations then stability of suspension and emulsion it is increased why because the fine the more is the your particle is fine the less is its settling capacity right so fine particles with narrow particle size range produced are more stable okay so they they will produce more stable emulsions and suspensions so particle size now we will see particle size distribution the plot of percentage of frequency versus particle diameter it represents the particle size distribution of the particle population in any powder okay it is described by single or equivalent diameter so now let us see what are the types of size distribution a is the normal size distribution you can see here um, it is a symmetrical pattern we can say okay so the graph is obtained as percent frequency versus particle diameter okay you get a curve which is symmetrical in nature hence it is said to be as normal size distribution this distribution it shows peak frequency value which separates the normal curve into two identical halves okay next is positively skewed distribution so this is the diagram or this is the chart or this is the graph for positively skewed distribution okay now you can see here this peak of percent frequency is um, not uh, giving you a symmetrical uh, diagram or it is not exactly dividing the curve in exact half okay so when the population of the particle it exhibits a frequency curve with an elongated tail okay this portion is the elongated tail towards higher size range okay the particle size is going to increase 
as we move away from the x uh, as we move away from this zero point okay so we say that it is having a tail towards the higher size range this type of diagram or this type of graph is said to be as positively skewed distribution so what does this graph indicates that you have particles which have um, particle size diameter or particle diameter most of the particles of your powder they have this much diameter that means what this is the your major population of the particles okay which have this much uh, frequency oh, oh sorry that particle diameter next is negatively skewed now we have seen positively so we will be able to explain what is negatively skewed so when the population of the particle it exhibits a frequency curve exactly opposite to that of the positive skewed it is termed as negatively skewed distribution next we have bimodal distribution curve okay we are getting two peaks in the uh, distribution okay so uh, when more than one mode occurs in a plot of percent frequency versus particle diameter then that distribution is termed as bimodal two peaks two modes we are getting right so um, what is size separation it is a process of separation of mixture into various fractions on the basis of particle size range okay the method of size separation include sieving sedimentation illustration cyclone separator okay these are the different methods but we are going to study about sieving methods okay so now what is the sieving method this method uses a series of standard sieves calibrated by the national bureau of standards the sieves are used for grinding grading powder from coarse powder to very fine powder indian pharmacopoeia specifies five grades of powder such as coarse powder moderately coarse powder moderately fine powder fine powder and very fine powder okay so for the coarse powder it must pass through sieve number 10 whose uh, aperture size is 1.7 mm okay and um, when passed to sieve number 44 um, 40% particles will pass through that sieve okay so likewise indian pharmacopoeia has given the definition for coarse powder moderately coarse powder moderately fine powder fine powder and very fine powder so that definitions those are based on the sieves number through which it must pass and through which only 40 percent of the particles only should pass right so the sieves they are produced by photo etching and electro forming uh, techniques uh, which are now now available with aperture ranging from 90 micrometers to as low as 5 micrometers so it should be possible to use the method for particle size measurement in the range of 40 to uh, 9500 so according to Indian Pharmacopoeia, specifications for sieves are, these are the specifications. You can find, you find this table in the uh, Indian Pharmacopoeia as well. Okay. So uh, here you have the sieve number. This is the sieve number. This is the uh, uh, area. Okay. And uh, so likewise, um, this is the aperture size. This is the sieving area, which is available and this is the tolerance average aperture size means how much tolerance can be is okay okay now we'll see the equipment uh, used for saving method is sieve shaker okay so this sieve shaker machine it works on the principle that the powdered drug it is separated according to its particle size using a number of sieves in the nest which are then agitated for rapid size separation the construction of this sieve shaker machine is very simple uh, it has got uh, standard sieves of different mesh numbers okay they are fixed in a mechanical shaker apparatus with coarsest sieve at the top and the finest sieve in the bottom the working of this shaker is that first you have to place a 50 grams of powder on, on the first or the topmost sieve which is the most most coarsest sieve right so this sieve nest, uh, it is then fixed to mechanical shaker apparatus and it is shaken for a certain period of time. You have to, when you are going to perform the experiment, you will have to shake it for 10 to 15 minutes, okay? So the powder which is retained on each sieve, then you have to weigh it, okay? 
Now, if you see the sieve shaker apparatus, it looks like this. This is the lid. This is the sieves of different sizes. This is the receiving pan, okay, or the last end plate. Then this is the indicator bulb. This is the regulator, just like you have the regulator of the fan uh, to adjust the speed. Here you have the regulator to adjust the uh, time for which you want to shake the machine and also you have a regulator to uh, uh, to adjust the speed of the shaking right so now this is the working when you switch on the regulator the machine is shaken okay and because of this shaking movement the particles they separate okay so the particles they move from um, uh, as per their size they will move through these sieves okay and through which sieve they won't pass they get retained on that sieve okay so uh, the advantage of this method is it provides rapid and reproducible results it is simple and in inexpensive method the disadvantage is it is useful for for dry solids only size reduction of test material it might occur due to the vibration of the shaker and uh, which will produce error in the estimation the disadvantages if the powder is not dry apertures they might get clogged lower limit of particle size is 50 micrometers during shaking attrition occurs causing size reduction of the particles and this will result in error in the estimation okay now we will see how we are going to perform the experiment okay so now the aim of today's experiment as i have already told you it is to evaluate the particle size distribution of the tablet granules by sieve method okay so we are going to use this sieve method. so now as you can see here this is the sieve shaker okay now we will see first the construction and then we'll see its operation okay so now this is the sieve shaker as you can see here the control switch is behind means you have to plug it and then you have to switch it on this is the speed regulator you can with the help of this you can regulate the speed of its movement and here this is the timer okay now if you can see here there is 10 20 and 30 that means if you make it to come at this 10 that means uh, you are going to uh, make it to vibrate for 10 minutes if you go it for 20 20 minutes and here 30 okay so with the help of this you have to set the timer right now if you see this this is the uh, fixation these are the fixing bolts this is the uppermost plate of the sieve shaker this is the coarsest sieve as we have arranged here five sieves out of that this is the coarsest sieve if you observe here carefully there is written 10 that means the sieve number is 10 Okay, sieve number 10 indicates what that in 1 inch or in 2.5 centimeter area there are 10 openings or 10 perforations right so the mesh size is also written here that means what is the distance between the two um, two wires okay that is the mesh size right so this uppermost sieve it is the coarsest and its sieve number is 10 right now as we go to the next sieve this is sieve number 22 okay and its uh, mesh size is also given here right so again here after 22 this is sieve number 44 then this sieve is our sieve number 60 and this last sieve it is sieve number 85 right so whenever we are going to operate this this sieve shaker at that time we are always going to arrange the sieves in such a manner that the finest sieve is at the bottom and the coarsest sieve is at the top, right? So now this is the end or we can say this is the receiving plate, right? Now we will arrange this. Okay, so now we have prepared uh, calcium carbonate granules and we have made 50 grams of the granules and now we will uh, proceed with the procedure right so first we will put in this 50 grams of granules inside this sieve shaker and we will assure that it is tightly folded in this position right now we will start with the operation first we will switch it on 
and then we will set in the time for 10 minutes and we will start the equipment so we have to set the time for 15 minutes and we will start the rotation of this equipment Give you 
63.22 okay then you have to add this value with this you will get this this value with this you will get this this value with this you get this final value right so this is the observation table and now we are going to draw a graph and from that we will get our value so now let's see how the graph is um, plotted for percent weight of powder versus diameter okay so this is the graph on this y axis we have taken percent weight of powder and on this x axis we have taken average uh, aperture size that is the diameter right we have plotted the points which we have obtained from our observation table and from this point we have to draw a, a straight line towards this x axis and that gives you our average particle size okay so this tells us that the number of uh, the particle size okay of this dimension uh, its particles are of higher proportion right because this is the percent weight of the powder okay so in our powder sample we have maximum number of the particles which have this particle size okay so that is our average particle size now if you observe this diagram <laughs> it is a skewed um, uh, uh, graph right so mostly in a sieve analysis you get a skewed either positively skewed or you get a negatively skewed um, graph okay you have to just check out verify which graph is yours okay the next plot which we are going to um, the next graph which we are going to plot is the percent cumulative oversize and percent cumulative undersize versus the diameter okay so on this y axis we have taken percent cumulative weight and on x axis we have taken average aperture diameter right so uh, uh, we have plotted the points for uh, oversize and undersize okay and we have drawn this graph okay it is very easy graph to draw okay so in the result we will report the calcium carbonate granules they showed us negatively skewed distribution also the average particle size of calcium carbonate granules was found to be 850 micrometers okay this we have got from the graph okay this also we have got it from the graph and this also we have uh, got the result from the graph okay now let's see what are the uh, frequently asked question on this topic the first question will be define coarse powder okay so coarse powder is defined as the powder of which all the particles they pass through a sieve with nominal mesh aperture of 1.70 mm that is sieve number 10 and not more than 40 percent through a sieve with nominal mesh aperture of 355 uh, micrometer it, should, it has to be mm uh, whose sieve number is 44 okay that type of powder is called to be coarse powder the second frequently asked question is what is the sieve number the same question is asked in the mcqs as well okay so it is one of the favorite questions so it is expected that you should all know this okay so what is a sieve number a sieve number indicates the number of meshes in a length of 2.54 centimeter in each transverse direction parallel to the wires okay so it just indicates the number of openings in one inch or 2.5 of uh, 54 centimeters right the next question which is very frequently asked is you have to explain the mechanism of size separation okay the working of mechanical sieving devices they are based on any of the following methods first is agi agitation method then brushing and then centrifugation okay so agitation method is here the sieves they are agitated in a number of different ways such as oscillation vibration gyration the second method is the brushing method so in this case a brush is used to move the particles on the surface of the sieve and to keep the meshes clear the brush is rotated in middle in the case of circular sieve but spiral brush is rotated on the longitudinal axis in case of a horizontal cylindrical sieve this is used for size separation of greasy or sticky powders such as waxes and soaps okay the next uh, uh, method is centrifugal method so in this method a high speed rotor it is fixed inside the vertical cylindrical sieve so that on rotation of the rotor the particles they are thrown outwards by centrifugal force the current of air which is produced due to the high speed of the rotor helps in sieving the powder example is cyclone separator 
okay the next question which might be asked is you have to explain the advantages and disadvantages of the sieve shaker the advantages it is an expensive simple and rapid with reproducible results disadvantages if the powder is not dry the apertures they can get clogged it has lower limit of particle size which is 50 micrometers and uh, during shaking uh, there might occur attrition causing the size reduction of the particles and this will surely result in error in the estimation the next question is you have to explain the principle of sieve shaker so the powdered drug in sieve shaker it is separated according to, according to its particle size using a number of sieves in a nest which are then agitated for a rapid size separation okay so uh, this was all about the experiment of sieve analysis thank you for watching